are very, very disappointed that the speaker only gives two hours for this very important debate. Simply because, one, we are going to have an election soon. A state election where one million voters are going to be affected. And you only give two hours to debate about a, a delineation that is badly drawn up and that will also affect their lives, the way they vote and um, how they are going to be um, uh, represented as well and their access to um, services. So um, that for me is very serious because you are not actually even taking into account the seriousness of this whole uh, delineation by giving two hours um, for the debate. And, uh, and the other thing is that uh, we are actually, the parliament is actually looking at the delineation where it already violated the constitution. Uh, it violated the constitution uh, because the delineation didn't follow in terms of one person, one vote, one value. The, the, ignore the local ties. It also ignore the very fact that you know there has to be equal proportion. So um, the map. <laughs> I, I'll be, later we will show you why. Because uh, when they say that they have actually done it properly. There is so many discrepancies in which they have allocated landmass versus the uh, population of uh, voters. The other thing is that um, I really want to say that you know um, the information that you now get in Parliament is not the information that was given to the voters when they made the objection. They did not make the objection based on this vote. This is a lot more information. The map is even more detailed than what you get when uh, they announce the delineation. And that is a serious violation. But yet, you know, federal court rejected our case and say that the display was enough. But why is it that they can give this much of information now to the parliamentarians and they couldn't do it at the Sarawak level? There's no logic. This one is a total failure of the SPR and they shouldn't even be doing this. In fact, we want to reject this wholesale because information is here and then we don't get information at the Sarawak level. And we're talking about one million voters. Uh, we are just taking... Um, one is compare Barang over there and Igan. Yeah. Uh, the problem with this is that in Baram you have a large area and a large population, whereas Igan is small and uh, and uh, smaller voters, which means that the MP and also the Dun State Assembly in Baram has to cover a much larger area and much larger. Voters, 31,000 voters as compared to Igan, which is smaller, and the voters' area is only about uh, 8,000. The voters number? 18,000. Yeah. 18, There's no logic in terms of the uh, delineation that is uh, done by the SPR. They have actually done it without even considering a, uh, proportional representation, they, uh, I mean the equal representation, they didn't consider local ties, they didn't even consider, you know, that you have to have a um, uh, more equal kind of representation. They only think about the shifting of voters to facilitate a, a voting pattern and that is distortion. I feel that you know what um, the parliament now should do is to reject wholesale this report, have um, a, a select committee to relook at the whole uh, delineation process and make sure that it, it's um, fairly done. So that you know, if we, if SPR it keeps on repeatedly says that they are for clean and fair elections, this is definitely not clean and fair elections. This is really a distortion of the um, election process. So they have to redo this. Otherwise, you know, um, election will not be clean and fair in Sarawak.